What is going on guys? Phil Cape, NMS Gaming here, back with our first NBA 2K22 My Team MT making video here. And I'm going to show you guys some good sniping filters for your MT. And I'm going to start off with a basic filter here right away. And it's basically just like, you know, the cheapest, uh, um, it was a 700 filter, so now it's like an 800 filter. But basically you're just sniping off basically almost any card that comes here. And you, you're going to be able to flip it for more money, um, you know, right away. Um, a lot of these cards are going to be golds or bronzes or, you know, lower cards like that. But you could, you know, potentially get, you know, a sapphire or something like that as well. Like, you could pick up those cards right there and uh, sell them for like 950 and uh, make, you know, 100, 150 MT um, to get your MT going. Um, you know, but once you, um, you know, get a little bit going, you know, got a couple thousand, um, you can try the sapphire uh, filter here. This was a little bit better, I feel like. Um, it's kind of getting a little um, bogged down with all these. These are kind of pushing them down. But you can get a lot of these still for 800 750 And you could probably sell them for 11 1200 or, or maybe even more. Maybe experiment with that, kind of see what you can maybe get on those. That's a good way to make a few hundred MT as well. And we'll go with the filter that I kind of do a lot right now. This is the Ruby filter, just basically kind of at the lowest level here. Um, so it looks like they're about 4300 right now. Um, but you're going to be able to sell these all day for 5000 or more, especially if you get some good players. Um, so once you, you kind of do this a little bit, you'll get used to the players um, who maybe goes for more. Um, it's a good idea. Maybe go through the sets as well and uh, look up each player individually and uh, kind of see what they go for. Get a feel for who kind of goes for a cheesy amount as well. I like to look up players individually sometimes as well when I find good hot players that there's a lot of cards. You know, a lot of these colossal cards are coming out of these packs because um, they're the, the special pack that are in the store. So they're always good players to find. And uh, basically, uh, when you get these cards, you know, you can sell them for more than the, the base low amount. You can actually sell them for a few hundred more um, and, and you can find that out like the Manu Ginobili for example, you know, you can sell him probably for about 5,500 um, You know, and you're gonna get him for like 4,500 or less, you know, easily make 500 MT on a lot of these cards um, It's just the run run through it's it's gonna take the full four minute four hours um, And last like 15 30 minutes. That's when you're gonna be selling the majority of your cards unless you you know you maybe you got a good snipe on a card and you're you know you got it reasonably priced uh like a damian lillard or somebody like that i like to search damian lillard um i've, I've gotten a few of his snipes actually for like six seven and eight thousand um so definitely can make some nice ones there and uh right there that's like a glitch with the game um like for me i can't search lamello ball and, and it could be other players for you um, I don't know if it's just LaMelo Ball, but I can't search him by name. So if you want to search him or somebody else that you can't, you just break it down. So he's a shooting guard, he's in the Colossal set, and he's on the Hornet. So then I can find him and we can snipe him off because for some reason his name isn't working. So there's just a nice little tip there for you if um, you know searching by name just isn't working. And right there, you know, I probably could have picked that up and easily made, you know, 500 or more coins on that Lamello as well. But yeah, I've been getting my MT up. I think I'm just going to save it here till at least I get a 100k MT. And I'll probably do a pack opening. So look forward to that, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and breakdown on some sniping filters and some tips to sell your cards for a little bit more as well. Make sure you hit the like button and comment down below as well if you guys have any questions on sniping or making MT. Um, or just anything about my team in general. Peace out, guys. We are out of here.